Hey Bears, welcome back. I'm Brody reporting from the BTV studio. Today is May 7th and this is Mental Health Awareness Month. Let's continue to stay mentally strong. Let's take a look at today in history. In 1942, during World War II, American and Japanese navies attacked each other with carrier planes in the Battle of the Coral Sea. It was the first time in the history of naval warfare where two enemy fleets fought without seeing each other. Now, for recent news. Our Blue Elite JROTC Unarmed Drill Team earned second place for their performance in the All-Service National High School Drill Team Championships in the Virtual Division. And they also took second place overall in this division. Congrats Blue Elite and the instructors Colonel Salmons, Chief Master Sergeant Curl, and Senior Master Sergeant Roderick. Let's take a look at our Blue Elite. Report.
Now, for some exciting sports news. Kaja Wilson, our regional champion in the 100 meter hurdle, hurdles with a time of 14.99 will compete in the state track meet in Austin tomorrow. Run fast, run hard. You got this, Kaja. Our District 29-6A champs Bears baseball team will play game one of their playoff series against Laredo United this Friday today at 6 p.m. at Unitrade Park in Laredo. For game two, the Bears return home, and on Saturday, they play at 2 p.m. at Northside Field 2. And if needed, game three is 30 minutes after game two. Get out and support our winning Bears. And in their first playoff game, our Lady Bears softball team finished off the Laredo Johnson Lady Wolves last Friday with a 12-1 win. The ladies move on to their next playoff game against Far San Juan Alamo North, to North tonight at 8 p.m. at Cabinist Softball Field in Corpus. Game 2 is tomorrow, also at Cannabis fi Cabinist Field at 4 p.m. And if necessary, Game 3 is 30 minutes after Game 2. Keep swinging away, ladies. Now, for current health news, your safety and our students' safety continues to be our top priority. So take advantage of a new opportunity to enhance safety efforts here at school. NISD has partnered up with Community Labs, a local nonprofit organization to bring weekly COVID testing to Brennan beginning with next week with the PCR test. The plan is to test teachers, staff, and in-person students during all three lunches. It is quick, painless, and takes about 30 seconds or so. You simply swab the inside of each nostril, hand it to the technicians, and participants will see results within 24 hours. So take a look at what this testing is about. On camera, if you do realize that your mask will have to come off when you're up here. <laughs> it's, a, it's a count of five is what it is in each nostril, okay? If you have a runny nose, you'll be asked to blow your nose first, and then we'll start over again, and we'll start up the garbage can and stuff like that. It's not that I make up these rules, these are CDC that make up these rules, okay? Um, so, and, and you can see the one that's open, it already opens up towards the holding portion of the Q-tip, so it should not be a problem. So, once you open it, we'll discard it in the trash, obviously, but it's count to five, and then switch and count to five, okay? Not down at the low portion of your nostril, but up a little bit further, okay? So, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and you're going to hand it. Well, if you're going to place it, we'll have the barcode and everything already on it. Sounds easy, so help suppress the spread of COVID and keep our community safe. All parents need to do is fill out a consent form for in-person students. With a great turnout last time, the University Health System Mobile Immunization Clinic will return to Brennan on May 26th from 9 a.m. to noon 
With some students still needing immunizations, this is an easy way to get them. Seniors who plan on attending any higher level education are also required by the state of Texas to have additional meningitis and DTP immunizations. These will be offered. However, COVID vaccinations will not be offered. And the best part, insurance is not necessary. Register online at www.healthyuexpress.com. Immunizations help save lives. Make sure you're up to date. For more information, contact Campus Nurse Amy Casey at 210-398-1259. Thank you, Bears, for your commitment to our safety protocols by continuing to wear face masks correctly. Remember, your mask should cover both your nose and mouth and stay on at all times when you're not at home with immediate family. You're doing a great job at suppressing the spread of COVID. And finally, Bears, it's not too early to stop preparing for final exams. This year, the first final is Friday, May 28th for second period. On Tuesday, June 1st, there are final exams in first, seventh, and eighth period. On Wednesday, June 2nd, you will have final exams in third and fourth periods. And on your last day of school for this year, Thursday, June 3rd, there are final exams in fifth and sixth periods. Well, this is all I have for today. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at BTV Bears. And if you missed any part of this broadcast, catch us on YouTube by searching for BTV Bears. If you have any announcements for BTV, please email Mr. Cerna at fernando.cerna at nisd.net. I'm Brody, signing off from BTV. Stay safe and take an active part in your learning. Have a great day and a fantastic weekend, Bears. This is a BTV production.